we were going to the game down in Miami. They were getting tattoos and they were getting the pierced ears and one one got a pierced eyebrow and somebody came in with a pierced tongue and I got mad and said, you know, your parents are going to be calling me up. And they said, cut it out or I'm going to, you're not going to play or I don't remember exactly. And then then I made a dumb statement, which is par for the course. I said, look, if we win this game, I'll get a tattoo. Well, they held me to it. <laughs> And so, in fact, I was, it was about a year and a half, and Christian and Jason and actually came back to the, it was the Charlie McBride uh, review preview for cystic fibrosis. And even Mr. Peter was in on it. They were going to tie me up and take me to get a tattoo, and I promised them I'd get one, so I did. But then I told my wife it's only going to be about as big as a golf ball. <laughs> And of course, when she, when I got home, that wasn't real good. We had a little few tears, but I guess she's used to it. <laughs> so anyway, that's the story of my tattoo. Hi, John. This is Christian Peter. I'm sorry, but the stories I have about Charlie are not appropriate for the public. <laughs> I fear if I would share these stories, Charlie could be sentenced to life in prison. He's a very, very sick man. That caused a lot of mental and physical pain to his players. I still wake up in the middle of the night with cold sweats. I piss the bed all the time and have been in intense therapy for years, all because of that old demented son of a bitch. <laughs> but just like every other guy that's ever lined up for this guy, there's nobody else that we would ever fucking want calling us a piece of shit or calling us fucking, you know, some guy. There's nobody else that we would take it from. Because we know at the end of the day, he always had his, his arm around us, telling us he loved us. And there's not a guy up here who wouldn't do it anything if Coach asked. Coach, we love you. There's nobody else we would have wanted to play for. And, uh, you know, it's not just us, but everybody loves you, and it's well-deserved, so glad we could be here.